if you're having issues with your Fire Stick remote not working with your Fire Stick, here are four simple fixes that will get it working again. So let's go and check them out. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. The first step is the most obvious. If there are no lights on your remote when you press any of the buttons, it could be that the batteries are dead or not put in the right way, or there's damage to the connectors. Flip your remote over and slide the back off. Take the batteries out and check the terminals for dust, rust or corrosion. If you see any residue, grab a flat-headed screwdriver and gently scrape it off. Wipe with a dry cloth and replace the batteries. Replace with new ones if necessary. Next to try is a reset of the Fire Stick remote. Now don't worry, this will only reset the remote and not your Fire Stick. The following steps need to be carried out correctly. If you need to, just remember to pause the video after each step so that you can follow along. You can do that by unplugging your Fire Stick and waiting 60 seconds for the power to drain from your Fire Stick completely. Next, press and hold the left button, menu button and back button all at the same time. Hold them for 12 seconds, then release and wait 5 seconds. Then flip your remote over and remove the batteries. Next, plug your Fire Stick back in and wait 60 seconds. Then put the batteries back in your remote. Next, press the home button on the remote and wait for the LED indicator to blink blue. Your remote should now be paired successfully. For a more detailed breakdown of these steps, check out my website firetvsticks.com forward slash broken fire stick remote. This next step is something that most people don't think of trying, but is the simplest solution. Pick up your TV remote while your Fire Stick is turned on and check if your TV remote works with your Fire Stick. Newer LG TVs, for example, will be able to do this, along with other models of newer smart TVs. This works by utilising the HDMI CEC function and allows devices connected to your TV's HDMI ports to communicate with the TV remote. The HDMI CEC option is usually already turned on as a default, but you can go into your TV's menu, options or settings to manually check and turn this feature on. Some TVs may have called this function something other than HDMI CEC, such as Simplink, Net Command, or EasyLink. If you can't find this option, do a web search for the model of your TV and how to enable HDMI CEC. Try this if nothing has worked so far to get your remote working again. Amazon has an official app for Android and iOS smartphones called Amazon Fire TV. Download it from your app store and it will search for and connect to Fire TV devices that are on the same network as your phone. 
Next, select your Fire Stick in the Amazon Fire TV app and connect to it following the instructions on screen. You can then use the app to control your Fire Stick, navigate around it, and even use your phone's keyboard to input text, which is even easier and more convenient than using your Fire Stick remote. If absolutely none of these tips has helped to get your Fire Stick remote working, then you could try contacting Amazon. Amazon devices are sold with a one-year manufacturing warranty, so if your remote becomes faulty within the first year, they should replace it for free. If you try this, let me know in the comments below if you manage to get a replacement for free. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days. This n n try this if n